Here we are. The Merlot. The TF3810, which is 3.8 tonnes to 10 metres. Then 145 is the horsepower. I had one of these out before, probably two harvests ago, I'm not sure, but this has got, uh, that one had as well, got this uh, cab suspension that pivots from here to here. You've got um, dampening springs, that's at the back of the cab, and that's at the front of the cab. And then in here, yeah, that's a hydraulic ram, that's a kind of damper to give the cab suspension. And it's also got a boom suspension as well. It's got a rear hitch on, and this is where you connect the, uh, well, in this case, we've got the bail grab on here, haven't we? So, but it hasn't got a, Merlot does not have a, a device. So as soon as you release, you like, you push these tines in here with this hydraulic ram. As soon as you release it, the pressure starts creeping off. When I had it before, the bales get falling out. So we've got this block here, which space is locking so the oil doesn't um, creep back. But unlike the JCB, you've got here, you've got three. That one, that middle one is basically the locking pin, which on the Merlot's down there, but we had to have the JCB headstock, which fits on here, adapter plate. It's not the headstock, it's an adapter plate, isn't it? Yeah, the adapter plate. So that, that is completely redundant now. But you have to, um, and these, you just turn them like this and then do it, and just do like that to do it up. So you can release the, release the pressure to take it off. But obviously on the JCB, you've got it near the, near, near here, you've got a button you push near the cab to release all the pressure anyway. But that means every time you want to take the thing off, you have to swap these over. You say, well, every time you swap them over, you have to get out in any way to do the pipes. But it's just another thing that you need to do. And if that could be like, so you had three pipes there as standard. I think that would be a good, a good idea. We've got two LED lights here up the top of the cab. And we've got the work lights on the boom, one there and one there. And normal, nor the work lights in the, that on the front, they're just normal uh, halogen bulbs. And then we've got these LED lights at the top of the back and it's got an LED flasher on as well. These are the lights on top of the mudguard. It hasn't got any reversing lights, so that one is actually indicate. And I think these are the brake lights and side lights and whether it's got a fog light on, I wouldn't know. But... And here you've got, this is actually the hitch. And there you can plug in a double, a double acting thing. So you're like a, a trailer or something like that. And here's the light and socket and here are the various brakes. So, the brake one and then you've got the where well you have the, the two brake the two brake lines. Right, it's a bit of a foggy morning now but I'm in the JCB now and so I've got the grab on to release the pressure to put the thing on you just press this button here hold it down you wait till there's four bibs one two three four and then the pressure's released now we can get out go and plug the Hi guys, here I am hiding in this machine. This is the, uh, the Merlot. I don't know if you can hear me, but it, 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 can you feel that? No, going on the on the road, it's all blue tinted. It's just like, Same piece of road I did before with the other one to see if you can notice the difference. There's a bit, the, the screen is a bit vibrating because uh, 
all I've got to do, I'll just set it on top of the weight loader. It's only, it's only just sitting there. It's not on a proper mount or anything. It's literally just sitting there. Rubbish bales here. We're just pulling, pulling the, pulling the string out and just shoving it straight on the muck hill with the merlot. So the LED lights are quite good because they're like the white light. As if you look, what we've got down here. This is the um, other lights, but this here, this is definitely a good, uh, a good thing. I don't know how clear you can see that, but you've got this little, little dot there. Which is obviously you're in the in the green area. It's cal calculated the weight. It somehow knows what. Well, I'm not quite sure how this works because it's saying something like, "Oh, that's in pounds, 2,400 pounds." It reckon it's got on there. So, but if I boom out, you'll see that little dot fur going further in the thing, and then it'll start bibbing. Yeah, I've just hit the yellow. So now the alarm system's going off and it says all I can do there, I mean, if you just saw that, was just pull that, and that green one, so all I can do is basically pull it in. So that's a, that's a good design. The only problem is it's not touch screen. Everything's done by here, so, but no, that is a good, I don't know if they, even if the, many of them have gone touch screen, but no, I think, some things are starting to go touch screen. You've got plus and minus on touch screen. Some say touch screen because you put your fingerprints all over your dirty fingerprints. They prefer it to have on here. I, I think it's down to user's preference. So. how this uh, screen works. I'm now going to pick up a bale here. I've got this. You've seen me just unloading this trailer. Can you watch where I actually pick the, pick the actual bale up, how that red bit. Right, I'm just picking it up, putting the grab in. So see, it's now because I've dropped it right down. It's now taking all the weight off the front. And as I lift it up, you see that red area is bigger. That's with the bale on. The bale. That's without the bale on. See, it's got uh, the red area has got smaller. So that's how that. That is quite. That is quite good. Uh, good system. You've still got this bit up here, but that does give you a bit more. Bit more, bit more information. Right, I just got to move this trailer out of the way. It's got a very good um, lift on the on the rear hitch. So the bales I had on there were right at the front. I didn't feel it right full, which means it's heavier, heavier, and it, it lifted it easy, which is probably better than the 
better than the JCB because the JCB sometimes struggles to lift that trailer up. Right, this is how you do the hitch. This one here is the rear hitch with it. This one here is rear hitch or the auxiliary uh, leather support. So you just turn it like that to get the other one. So you do that and then you lift it up. Like that. Then you go around the other side of the seat. Down here, pull this lever up. And then you go around here and put this lever down. And then that puts the hitch down. This is the back hitch which is very powerful, it's got a very good lift. The only problem is it's not really high enough off the ground. Could have do have been mounted somewhere a little bit higher. Right, I've just cleaned it down. It's now got to go back. So, what do I think of it? Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It's got its pluses and its minuses as you have with every, every machine. But, the, some of the big pluses are that the lift on the rear hitch, which is used for controls for, that's uh, really good. And uh, it's got it's got cab suspension, which makes it a lot more a lot more smooth. Obviously, because obviously it takes out some of the bumps. It's got uh, cab suspension and obviously boom suspension, and it has also got down here zoom in a diff lock. I haven't had to use it because I'm really, really, I haven't done a huge amount of work with it. So, yeah, so you've got that as well, which is, I'm not sure if it does it on all four wheels or just on the one axle, but. Problem with it is this here, the back, now the back window, I'm a fairly tall guy. So I can't, my view is sort of like from probably about there. You can't see, you really have to bend down to look out the, out the back window. The hydraulics on it are really, really fast. In fact, you have to be careful on the joystick, especially when you're trying to do small movements, you have to be really gentle with it. But that's the thing you just got to get used to. Each machine is different. I'll just uh, shut up and you can see what I mean, because with this joystick, if I do it like this, it won't work, see? Nothing's happening. You have to, it's got sensors on it, so you have to like, hold it, and then it'll work. It's got sensors all around here, so if I'm holding it like this, it's okay. If I put it here, it won't work. If I put it here, it won't work. If I put it here, it won't work. But it's got sensors around this sort of like, and if you look on the top here, you can actually see, no no sensors. And now if I put it, it won't actually work. It'll only work as I get my hand near the joystick. There, the lights come on, that means it'll work. It's got sensors on that side, sensors all down this side here. Yeah, the sensors down there. No, the sensors are all down this side of the, Joysticks are bait, you've got your hand, your hand that side. Really, you've got to be thumb on it to hold it tight anyway. Otherwise, otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah, it's got a very good uh, steering lock. It's very sharp. It's definitely sharper than the JCB is. So that's my review on the Turbo Farmer from Merlot. 3810. 3.8 tons to 10 meters. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.